Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how to do text animation in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to do text animation in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, before I start, I would like to make you aware that this is the fourth episode of text animation. And if you want, you can watch the previous three episodes. I will give the link in the description box below. Now, first, what we will do is we will write some text on top of the screen. So go to add object, go to text, click on text and now click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this. And let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write let's say text animation and let me center align this particular text by going to paragraph and selecting center and once again going to paragraph and then selecting center align let me also change the font of my text from Arial to Montserrat black and let me also increase the text size to somewhere around let's say 180 pixels all right now I would like to center align my text box so first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center now next currently the duration of my text object is 10 seconds so I would like to reduce it to 6 seconds so inside the duration option you need to write 06.000 and then press enter on the keyboard now double click on your text object and first what you need to do is you need to go to text effects select recoloring and now click on ok now place the recoloring text effect right at the start like this and currently the duration of the recoloring text effect is one second so increase the duration of the recoloring text effect from one second to two second so inside the duration option you need to write 02.000 and then press enter on the keyboard now look inside the recoloring text effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside effect direction currently fade out is selected. So click on this drop down list and select fade in. Perfect. Now next you need to go to text effects once again and select shift position and now click on OK. Now place the text shift effect right at the beginning like this and once again the duration of the text shift effect is one second so increase its duration to two second so inside the duration option you need to write 02.000 and then press enter on the keyboard now look inside the text shift effect settings which is present inside the properties window inside effect direction currently fade out is selected so click on this drop down list and select fade in now look right here initial glyph position is set to outside text object so that's fine angle change per glyph is zero degree so that's fine as well inside the angle option currently the value is 45 degree so you need to delete this value and instead of 45 you need to write 180 and then press enter on the keyboard inside distance 100% is there so that's fine as well now next what you need to do is you need to add a distort effect so go to video effects go to transforms select distort and now click on ok now place the distort effect right at the beginning like this and currently the duration of the distort effect is one second so increase the duration to two second so inside the duration option you need to write 02.000 and then press enter on the keyboard now next what you need to do is look inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window inside type currently faceted glass is selected so you need to click on this drop down list and you need to select wave 
now inside frequency currently the value is 10 percent so you need to delete this value and instead of 10 you need to write 40 semicolon 0 and then press enter on the keyboard inside amplitude currently the value is 10 percent so delete this value and instead of 10 you need to write 40 semicolon 0 once again and press enter on the keyboard inside phase currently the value is 0 degree so that's fine inside angle once again the value is 0 degree so delete this value and instead of 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 360 and now press enter on the keyboard and so now if I just quickly play the video for you from the start perfect let me just play this video for you in preview that way it will be much more clearer so watch the text animation which is happening on screen once again let me just quickly play the video perfect all right now next what we are going to do is we will click on this recoloring text effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second recoloring text effect right at the end like this and look inside the recoloring text effect settings of this second recoloring text effect inside effect direction currently fade in is selected so click on this drop down list and select fade out now click on the text shift effect which is present right here press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second text shift effect right at the end like this and look inside the text shift effect settings of this second text shift effect inside effect direction currently fade in is selected so click on this drop down list and select fade out and inside initial glyph position outside text object is selected so that's fine inside angle change per glyph currently the value is zero degree so that's fine as well inside angle currently the value is 180 degree so you need to delete this value and instead of 180 you need to write zero and then press enter on the keyboard inside distance currently the value is 100 percent so that's fine as well and finally what you need to do is you need to click on this distort effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second distort effect right at the end like this and now look inside the distort effect settings of this second distort effect inside type wave is already selected so that's fine inside frequency currently the values are 40 semicolon 0 so you need to simply reverse the values so instead of 40 semicolon 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 40 and then press enter on the keyboard inside amplitude once again the values are 40 semicolon 0 so once again simply reverse the values so instead of 40 semicolon 0 you need to write 0 semicolon 40 and then press enter on the keyboard inside phase currently 0 degree is there so that's fine inside angle currently the values are 0 semicolon 360 so that's fine as well and we are done and so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is how you can create an awesome text animation in VSCC free video editor let me just play this entire thing for you in the preview so this is how you can do text animation in VSCC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video Till then thanks for watching.